Welcome back to another Ben McGreevy sports video. Today we are headed to an Atlanta Gladiators game. Let's go. And the entire time we are at the Atlanta Gladiators game, we are going to talk about what's going on in the National Hockey League while we watch some live hockey. For those of us in Atlanta, at least for a couple years, this is the only live hockey we're gonna get. So let's go check it out. We went to a Gladiators game for the very first time earlier this year. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description below. It's worth checking out. I went with my buddy Brad. It was an awesome experience. It was my first ever time in a non-NHL, like a like an ECHL game. I've never been to AHL. So it was like my first time at a professional hockey game that wasn't National Hockey League. Tonight, I'm literally by myself. I'm just here because my wife, Amelia, is out of town. And I said, you know what I want to do tonight is I want to go watch hockey. And there happened to be a game tonight. So we're here and we're going to check it out and have a great time. Of course, I am wearing the jersey of the one of the hottest teams in the National Hockey League right now. As of last night, the National Predators destroyed the Florida Panthers in like just an absolute domination showing to prove that maybe they're the real deal and have points in 16 straight. I mean, this is, it's getting out of hand really in Nashville and suddenly playoffs are for real in Nashville. Suddenly it's looking like you could actually see the Nashville Predators do something special. I'm not saying they're gonna win a round because they're gonna have to play a really good team, but they're probably not gonna get swept. And since the Gladiators are the ECHL team of the National Predators, said, you know what? We're wearing the jersey and headed to the game. And here we are. It's beautiful spring here in the Atlanta area. We're back in here. Last time we were here, I didn't even look at the merch. We're gonna check out the merch today. This is a really neat logo. Feels like old school hockey jerseys. It's neat. This one's like Thrasher. I love it. Hey, we're walking through here. Met Ryan. He's What's up? seen some videos on the channel. Anything you want to say? Go Glads. Go Glads. Are you from Atlanta? Yeah. Do you want us to get another NHL team? Oh, yeah. We need another one. That's Third right. time's charm. Do you want Thrashers to come back or a different type of team? All right, I love it. Back. Good to meet you, Ryan. Nice to meet you. Hey, if you're watching this video, be like Ryan. Say hi if you ever see me at a game. Also, I noticed this last time, but like, man, this arena for a like just a, an arena that's not in an NHL team is like crazy nice. Like, look at this. All I'm saying is, if there's a team that needs to relocate for a, you know a season or two while they build a new arena, we kind of have a decent one here in Atlanta already. Uh, that's a good size. This seats 13,000. That is more than Mullet Arena by a lot. I uh, bought this seat tonight for $23, and I'll tell you this: that is a pretty, a pretty good pretty good deal. Obviously you can see they can pull more seats down here. They have it set up as a stage right now. Um, but, but you know, this seat in an NHL rink is hundreds. Um, so pretty cool. Also, there are a pretty good number of seats remaining for tonight. So a warm ups are starting, but, uh, so who knows? We might just move around and see kind of different seats, what they look like. The Atlanta Gladiators are the worst team in the ECHL this season. Came down a little bit closer for a few warm-ups here. Okay, let's talk current NHL. Here's what we need you to do. I need you to comment down below who you think is going to win each division. So like, right now the Central, for example, is crazy close. You have Winnipeg, Colorado, and Dallas all tied for points. Like, who's gonna win that division? I don't know. I don't wanna play any of them. And, but here's the thing is like, say Nashville gets one of those teams as a draw, like, I don't think they want Nashville right now either. So it's just like kind of this crazy thing where the Central is just stacked. Meanwhile, Vegas, like, got a huge win last night against Seattle, but like, they're struck like they're on the verge of missing the playoffs after all their big trade deadline moves, which is crazy. The Stanley Cup champions like struggling to get in. They're in that last wild card spot, which of course they can get really hot near the end, but like that's a crazy one that it's like that you thought they would have been a lock in the Pacific. They're struggling for a wild card spot. Meanwhile, Los Angeles is like sitting in that final 
Pacific spot and like they're not really having a great year either. They're just kind of existing in that spot. So that's an interesting one. And don't look down on the East right now because their race for their wild card spot is also crazy tight. You have teams like Washington. Who would have thought? You have teams like Detroit. Tampa is in that conversation. Philadelphia is in that conversation. Who's gonna get that final wild card spot in the East? That's an, or the, either, not just the final one, either of them. It's a huge conversation on that. Now there's a really good chance you're watching this video like two years from now and you're like, oh well, this is how this turned out. So I wanna hear what you think is gonna happen this year and then like later on you could be like, oh no, I was a prophet, I knew all of it and comment that you got it right like in two years and you're watching this video and we'll just have to believe you. It's like your word against ours. But anyways, I'm really hoping the National Predators are gonna have a chance to win at least a series this year. That would be so fun. They're so hot right now. Just playing well. Let's enjoy the Atlanta Gladiators game tonight. Just have a good time here ECHL game here in Atlanta. Atlanta's playing a team from Quebec tonight, which means that we get the Canadian National Anthem. I think it's a bunch of elementary kids singing it. I'm pretty pumped about that. Of course, the Atlanta Gladiators have Nolan Burke, who's a Preds prospect. He's having an all right season, but nothing that screams this kid needs to be in the NHL right now. Uh, maybe he can get there, he's still young. Got ourselves a cup of coffee, let's go. First shot to take notes, coffee. Here we go, yeah. Rockin' to Taylor Swift, let's go. Let's go, Glads. The kids down here are about to sing the anthem are feeling high. Oh. I do love the, the light thing. I imagine like when they have packed games, which they do every once in a while, not tonight, but that looks incredible. And the teams take the ice. Here we go. We get to sing, oh Canada, here we go. Oh wow, okay, so we're doing a full elementary school switch on the stage to get a new national anthem. At the twilight, who's I won't lie, that was definitely one of the more awkward anthem experiences I've ever had, for sure. Savannah Banana scream, let's play hockey, and here we go. Wow, that was like, I cannot express how awkward, and like the kids did great, but like that was just really awkward, like the switch and everything. And we are underway here in Duluth. This would be a great building for an NHL team who needs a home for a couple years. It really would be. And I keep saying it, but they, they have like, literally if they drop the Jumbotron in the middle here. I mean, Atlanta Coyotes. Sounds familiar. Just, hey, Atlanta, I asked Ryan this question earlier. If you had a team, if say the Coyotes moved to Atlanta, would you want them to stay like the Coyotes? Would you want them to change back to the Thrashers? Would you want a new name? What would you want? Drop that in the comments below. Uh, as an NHL fan or an Atlanta hockey fan. Atlanta just had a 2 on 0 or a 2 on 1 and failed to score. That's a painful one if you're Atlanta. Also, look at this. You have the worst team in the ECHL here in Atlanta. And uh, and you have a pretty good amount of people here for a game. I think if this town wants an NHL team, I really do. The buzz on the street is that People would absolutely love it. I really believe that a team could work here, especially at a new rink that's a different level. Um, obviously, if they needed one, like if they were moving a team here, they have State Farm Arena downtown Atlanta that they could they'd use it for more for hockey. But this one could also work for hockey for a couple of years. If you wanted to move a team, I'm gonna say Arizona, just because it's the casual one, right? If you wanted to move a team here, you could use this one. But also, I think this town deserves expansion. I'm not necessarily sure I'm for expansion, 
I kind of think the league might already be too big by two teams. I think that you could probably take 40 guys out of the league and have a bit of a better product. But if you want to expand, Atlanta is the natural expansion city to grow the game. Chances all over the place. We haven't seen a goal yet. Oh, there's, ooh. Atlanta's hemmed in here. And they're gonna get it out. They stay alive. This team is from Quebec, like I mentioned. I'm very scared to say that they're the Lions. I'm scared to say the name of the town where they're from because I don't pronounce other languages well, and it's a very French name. Um, if you watch any of our Europe travel vlogs on the Travel Channel, you know that I speak it, pronounce things in other languages. Atlanta's gonna get a power play here in just a couple minutes. That's exciting. See this whole section here? That's our normal like area where our seats would be in Nashville for like 104. Uh, it's where we sit in Bridgestone Arena. And like, there's no one in it. So I might have to go over there and sit uh, for the next period. Got a Gladiators power play here. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Boy, this is quite a penalty kill here. And it's an absolutely, just Atlanta's got nothing on this power play. I don't even know if they have a shot on net. That, this has just been embarrassing for Atlanta. It's a lot of, Atlanta can keep the puck on the perimeter, but they can't get anything into high danger areas at all. Oh, it was a great save. It's a great save. That that was like, as I said, high danger. There was a high danger opportunity. That was uh, played off stick on the bench right there. Oh, what an opportunity wasted by the Lions. And there it is, the end of the first period, and uh, it'll be scoreless. <laughs> They're guarding him like crazy. A scoreless first period. Looks like a band down here is about to play. That These are the people who are sitting right here. They're down there now. I was going to get Dippin' Dots. Not for ten dollars. One really neat thing about like minor league games is just the jerseys of all the other teams. They see. Also, I bought these. These were three bucks. It's a good deal, relatively speaking. They've got the band playing. You got the pee wee. About to get rolling here in the second. There has not seemed to be much in the way of scoring in this game, as in the 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, there it is, the first goal of the game. I bet you guys could not see that very well, but it was a gorgeous feed to the middle by the Lions. It felt like it was coming, oh boy, just in a gorgeous top left shot. Phenomenal. It was the first goal of the game. About 25 minutes in. It's crazy because Atlanta's just losing every single puck battle along the boards. And uh, and so they're just not getting chances. I remember that was an issue with John Hines' system in Nashville. It was like, you felt like the team lost every single puck battle along the boards. They weren't aggressive. They weren't trying. It was like, they played the body instead of the puck. And it was like, what are we doing here? With the Burnett system in Nashville now, they win the puck battles along the boards. Oh, that was a good opportunity there for Atlanta. But if you can win your battles along the boards, oh, that was a whiff. If you can win your battles along the boards, you have a much better chance at, at winning games because you retain possession in the zone. And, and Atlanta's just not doing that tonight. Oh, he hit the post. Oh my goodness. See, there's another lost, non-aggressive battle. Atmosphere has actually been phenomenal tonight for the, for the, it's just as good. It's a nice little breakout for Atlanta. Oh, awkward. All right, we move seats a little bit to get a different angle. Hopefully I'm not in someone's seat. I don't think I am.
just can't get anything going here. Gladiators, and they're tied at one. I don't know if this is usual for the ECHL, but there's only one official, and you can feel it. There are a lot of missed calls that I would have called all day long uh, if I was a fan of either of these teams. I'd be upset about stuff that's been missed. Atlanta might get a chance here. They, they've got a good rush going. Once again, they can't really keep that sustained zone time going. Like. Everything, there's just no aggression on the pot. I have a feeling this game's getting like 3 1. Oh, there's a two on one. Try to get cute with that, I'm telling you. Second period's officially over. 1 1. Should be a good third. Hopefully, we get some OT. Also, I use my phone to record these, and uh, I know that shocks you with the tremendous quality that we have here. <laughs> but I only have like 10% left, so that's kind of stressful. It's chock a pot. And look at this. Oh, someone got really close. If you get in the red dot of Kroger, you, you win the jackpot. It's like $900 today. Someone's getting, there are just so many right around it. It's just kind of entertaining to watch, honestly. It's like it's snowing. Oh. I always love it when places do like the history cases. That brings me a lot of joy. It's neat. Very neat. I'm about to make an obvious statement. If you get to go to a lot of NHL games, you're blessed because NHL hockey is so good compared to, and, and this is like, this is a good time, but it's not the NHL and you feel the difference significantly um, just in terms of skill. The NHL is amazing. You know what? I'm a big Barks Root Beer guy, so instead of spending $10 on Dippin' Dots, $5 on Root Beer works. And we're about to be rolling in the third period. All right, we're about to have a power play for the Lions here, and I have a feeling that they're gonna score on it. Fun fact, they did not score. And now the Gladiators have a break. Breaking in, here's an opportunity shot, save. This goaltender uh, for the Lions, looking sharp. And on a gorgeous tip, Atlanta goes down 2-1. Goodness gracious. And suddenly the Atlanta Gladiators have to find a way to score a goal to tie in the last 12 minutes. And they have had a hard time generating good shots on goal. Like a lot of stuff from the perimeter, not a lot of good opportunities to score. So. It's interesting, for real. We are down to around two minutes left. Gladiator's still down by one. We've got a Forsberg fan standing up here. Um, my phone's literally about to die, so we'll, we'll see. I'm videoing very little. I'll keep you slightly updated. We have an empty net, and it looks like we're gonna potentially, okay. So there's an empty net, extra attacker out there trying to tie this thing up. Let's see what happens. And there's the empty net goal. So it's three to one. That will probably do it. I have a feeling this game's getting like 3-1. I'm so glad I got to come to this game. This town needs a National Hockey League team. And there it is, the game's officially final. I'm headed to the car so I can get a charger. We'll talk about it. Great game. I'll tell you this, there's something about springtime hockey that's just better than all other hockey. I mean, like, you kinda, I love like just this late in the year playoff push feel. And I know this is not a National Hockey League game. I know that it is ECHL and the Atlanta Gladiators will not make the playoffs, but I will tell you, there's just something that feels good about springtime hockey. It 
feels different. I love it. What a game. I'll tell you what, I want to know if you watched all this video, maybe you're an Atlanta Gladiators fan. Tell me how badly you want an NHL team and how much you think that this city deserves an NHL team. It was so cool. There's a missed call tonight. I mean, it was a pretty bad one. And just watching the crowd for this, la I can't I can't believe it. This last place Atlanta Gladiators team get just so angry. And this was, was my phone was dying, so I couldn't really video it. Just so upset. And it was, it was like, boy, these people are passionate. And, and it, sure, I, I bet there were only 5,000 people there tonight, somewhere in that number. But I bet you a lot of these people would show up to a lot of NHL games. So I think it's worth it. Bring the NHL back to Atlanta. It's good stuff. Hey, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, thank you so much for watching. If you've been watching my videos since 2017, thank you for watching. That means the world. It's been a long journey to get here, um, but I'm so thankful and I love making these videos. So if you don't mind hitting the like and subscribe button, that would mean the world. We'll talk to you and see you next video.